are really algorithms. And therefore, algorithms can hack organisms. Uh, for those who like equation, equations or understanding reality in the shape of equations, then the equation I can offer to understand what's happening in the world right now is B times C times D equals R, which means biological knowledge multiplied by computing power multiplied by data equals the ability to hack humans. Here we hacked the brain, finally. So here I implanted electrodes in the brain region that is controlling the leg movements. And with this electrode, we can record the brain activity, build algorithms that detect the intention of the animal, and we link them wirelessly to the spinal cord stimulation system. So this is the model of transient paralysis. The right leg cannot move. Without any training, the animal just think about walking, and we connect the digital bridge to the stimulation, and he walks continuously just thinking about it. As long as it's on, he can walk, we turn off this digital bridge, and he cannot walk. So, let's dream with me. Let's project ourselves 50 years from now. Imagine someone, oh, the computer turned off. Turned off. <laughs> this is when the technology is not helpful. <laughs> The spinal cord stimulation system green more nerve connection, so stem cell gene therapy, because we need more nerve fibers. In the same surgery, you can have this implant to record the brain activity, decode intention, and link them to this implanted device, so that people can start training intensively. U.S. intelligence shows China is using advanced technologies like gene editing and brain control weapons to advance its military and to crush dissent.